Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Nice to see you. Today is another jobs in the fish room type of episode. This is the one I look forward to least. Um, well, that's not true. I quite enjoy this one, but this is maybe the most dangerous job that I do in the fish room. Come with me. So we're back with this guy. This is Humphrey. He's my flower horn. He's my two-tone camphor flower horn. And he's possibly the grumpiest, angriest fish that I've ever met. He loves to interact with me which means bite, um, but his tank is cleaning. So he's been getting regular water changes, but there's a bit of algae building up in his tank. And we need to get him there and we need to give it a clean. Another thing that he's done, if you've seen a previous video I made, he hates cylindrical objects. For now, for now. So he's totally bust his heater. So we've had to replace his heater with a temporary one. I'm waiting on a titanium one arriving because the last one I got him didn't really work very well. We weren't happy with that. But yeah, that's how grumpy he is. So now I'm going to take my life in my hands. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of blood loss, get in there, give the tank a clean and give him a water change. He actually appears to be playing nicely today. Sometimes he will play with me and we can do this for ages and then eventually he'll go, hang on, I remember I hate you or that you taste delicious. And he'll just take a chunk out my finger. And you can never tell what he's planning. So this is part maintenance, part enrichment. As you can see, his tank is empty. He's just, uh, these days, he's not tolerating anything in there. So if I put some wood in there, he'll just attack it until it disintegrates or causes a problem. If I put some rocks in there, he'll bash them, move them around, and I'm worried that he's going to crack the glass. He won't tolerate any other fish in there, obviously. So he needs something to keep his, keep his mind active. Not that I'm sure he's got much of a mind, but you know what I mean. So every day I'll come in, I'll maybe I'll put a mirror in there for a few minutes. I'll mess around with them. I'll put my hand in there, he'll chase it around. I use the sponge, I could use a scraper or something like that. I use the sponge because quite often he'll go for the sponge and he'll attack it. And that's his little way of having a bit of a play and keeping him, keeping him entertained and keeping him active. As you can see, he's got a bit of a personality issue. He just wants the bite. I think I got away quite lightly there. 
I've got only a minor bit of blood and um, when he got me on the arm, he got me on the finger as well but didn't draw blood there but yeah that's the worst that I've got today so that's not too bad what I like to do is get in there, give it a clean, get rid of all the algae let all that settle and then we come back with the siphon and get rid of all that stuff and you don't like that bit either do you? back in a minute one of the more fun things you can do is get your family involved in the cleaning and see if you can convince them to stick their hand in the tank this is really child abuse I'm sure what? <laughs> how many fingers you got? So this is, we're enriching his environment, Stuart. So he doesn't get bored. What, so he can bite our fingers off instead? Yeah, he likes to bite fingers off. That's how he likes to have fun. You like to play on your bike or <laughs> go out with your friends. He likes to bite fingers. try and get you through the glass <laughs> so this is probably the only fish that I don't mind people touching the glass because it's part of his enrichment he does interact let's call it interaction because he really just wants to bite your finger off he has a big brain he has a big brain do you know what that's called? the, the brain that big lump on his head, that's his nuchal hump, or a cock. What's that mean? <laughs> it's a K-O-K, -K. that's it, it's nuchal hump. What does it do? It doesn't do anything, that's just like a big feature of the flower horns. So he they have this big lump on top of their heads. Does he actually need it? He doesn't need it. Yeah, it's fashion. <laughs> yeah, it's like fish fashion. <laughs> so as well as that, I've moved all the guppies into this tank, so we've now got a muck guppy tank and some of the colours are fantastic on these guys we can focus on them properly I don't know if it's just an illusion, but I think the colours have got better since I've added all the different fish in these guys are looking great so the next phase, I've let everything settle for a bit. I'm going to get my siphon out, which he also hates. There's a bit of a running thing here, or things that Humphrey does not like. There you go, attacked already. And suck up all the debris. This is just a, a homemade thing that I've got here, a, a rigid tube attached to a hose. So this bit isn't going to draw blood. Um, but yeah, let all the, the stuff that I've wiped off the sides, most of it's settled. I can get in there and give it a bit of a clean. Which also acts as a bit of a water change. I kind of roughly take out about 20%. Um, eventually, this tank will be on an auto water change at the moment, it's not drilled or anything like that, so it's all done manually, but he gets plenty of water changes. <laughs> As you can see, he's still attacking the thing. I don't know what it is about cylindrical things, he just does not get on well with them. But this is, this is a rigid PVC pipe. I don't know if you can make it out in the camera, but there's gouges out of it from him. giving it a proper seeing to eventually um, if you're new here you might not know but I'm in the process of moving house so when we get to the new house we will set up a more permanent tank where I'm gonna dog's going mad now where I'll get some substrate in and maybe a couple of smooth boulders and you see how he does with them 
But it's not terrible for them to live in a, a bare bottom tank like this. It's just, it's ugly for us as the keeper. It doesn't bother the fish at all. Leave it alone. Uh, I'm just trying to get the biggest bits of the, the algae and stuff hoovered up. In terms of filling things up, I've got my HMA filter here on the wall which feeds the whole fish room so the automatic water changes that go on here uh, get fed by that but I've also got this feed hose here or fill hose here Let's drop that in, turn it on and keep an eye on it basically um, and that's it, that's my maintenance routine only lost a little bit of blood today so not too bad we'll let this fill up and then we're good to go and move on to the next job bit of admin while we wait for the tank to fill up I would just like to say thank you to everyone who's clicked on that join button down below um, we're up to I think it's something like 10 or 12 hero adventurers at the moment I've started a new thing on my discord server and you'll find all these links in the description below but if you do sign up for the hero membership we've got an extra prize or an extra bonus for that you can get 10% off anything at my website so whether it's food or plants or fish or whatever it might be um, join the discord server make yourself known to the admins and say I'm a hero member and we'll get you that code. So other than the obvious minor things like a little bit of blood loss and aggression, I don't think I've ever kept a more interactive fish. I mean, he's obviously a very beautiful fish. We've got the two colors here, the red fading into the yellow, the pearling. It's just stunning to look at, but he's so interactive. He wants to play with you. It's the only fish I've ever seen that's happy to have someone tap on the glass. Um, not for everyone, but I don't think I'll ever not keep a flower on again. I mean, this particular one, this is Humphrey, he's, he's got a little bit of girl, gill curl. Um, it's just cosmetic, it doesn't affect him in any way. But he's, he's just brilliant. Okay, if this is the first time you've been here and you like this kind of thing, please think about clicking that subscribe button, it really helps me out. Uh, and just like to say thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!